The Women's Mentoring Ministry, it pairs women together for six months to go through life. They can go for walks, they can meet in, in coffee shops, in restaurants, in each other's homes. It's really um, open for them to determine what works best for their schedule. I started out in this ministry as a mentee. Um, my father had passed away and during that season I was just seeking, um, I had a lot of questions. Um, I was a new believer and I had a lot of questions about the Bible and a mentor kind of helped me with that. Um, people who are looking for community. We have a lot of women who um, maybe have been attending Shoreline for years um, and haven't made a connection with someone. And so this is one way to make the big church feel a lot smaller. I've learned how to um, go through really hard life things with the Lord, knowing that I'm not by myself. And also knowing that um, I am enough. And um, I lost my mom a year ago. And without this ministry, I wouldn't have gotten through it like I did. Um, these women have been wonderful and um, have really helped me grow. I think in this culture, women are kind of led to compete against one another. And I feel like this is a great environment where we can see we can support each other and um, that those experiences we've walked down that may have been difficult um, we're not for nothing, that we can share that and say, look, I've come out the other side. This is how God's been faithful to me. And share that with someone else is a valuable thing. And it's valuable even as a reminder to those who are sharing their story to remember what God's done. I'm new to this area. I'm attending graduate school at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies. And I don't really have any family out here and don't really know anyone, but wanted to be connected with the church. Um, and just was hoping to find someone who could mentor me and just be someone to talk to as I go to graduate school, which is really tough. I think I grew in just learning to be vulnerable and open myself up to someone else that I didn't really know at all until starting the program. And then I also just learned a lot about, uh, my mentor had a similar background to me. She was a career, career professional. Um, and so just being able to talk about that and how to bring Christ into my career and into my uh, schoolwork and into my relationships that I had at school was really um, what I sort of grew and was challenged in this last six months. I learned how to commit to something and to someone and you know, not make excuses, like I don't want to do this or that. I really was able to commit to her and pray for her and you know, it was, it was yeah, I think I grew in that, and that I think it's a maturity thing, I think, you know, to be able to commit and, and stick to it. I love the accountability of the mentoring program. Um, I, just, just knowing that there's someone there that's um, a prayer partner and a prayer warrior and um, really holds you accountable to keep growing in your own relationship with Christ. And, and really the best thing for me has been that accountability. Um, I've also become a mom since I started the mentoring program and just having someone who's a little more experienced as a mom to give me advice and tips and help me through that uh, transition and, and learning how to balance motherhood with all of your other relationships and your relationship with Christ and how that all fits together, um, it's just been a blessing to me. Kind of being able to get more in depth and just being able to talk about what's going on with yourself and being able to be you. I think it's sometimes it's a little bit hard when it comes to a Bible study because sometimes it can be a little intimidating. You're not sure, you know, you're scared about what other people think, but with your mentor, it's just more one-on-one -on -one and there's no judgment and it's just been awesome. I think that's what's really unique about it. Yeah, it was for me, because I'm more of a reserved person, so when I get in big groups, I tend to I, you know, try to put myself up there and share, but it's more difficult. So this was uh, really helpful for me because uh, I could connect one on one and not have that, you know, I guess anxiety or um, with having to like share in front of a big group. I really, really, I appreciated it, and I felt more comfortable as time went on that that we could share our hearts with, letting our hair hang down, so to speak, that it wasn't you know, cookie cutter, that everybody had to be the same, or the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's nice to be able to share that with someone, you know?